18 years down the drain and pretty much all I have to show for it is a YouTube channel where I yell about memes and a children's party game. Life is good. Also, yeah, you didn't mishear me there. Today is in fact my 18th birthday, meaning that you have all been watching a child up until this point. I am sorry to shatter your immersion. I know that my voice might have given off the impression that I was like 25 or something, as most of you believed me to be, but in reality, I am indeed just some fucking kid. But now I'm an adult. Technically. I mean, kind of, at least, you know, United States and 21 and all that. Anyway, to actually get this video on track, I decided to do some type of a video in celebration of my birthday, which sounds super egotistical saying that out loud, so I tweeted out that I was doing a Q&A. Also, go follow me on Twitter, by the way. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start answering some of your burning questions. At Ouija the God, why do I want to hang myself so badly? At Ouija the God, do you have a deep hatred for YouTubers such as PewDiePie and Leafy, and if yes, do you hate people who enjoy them? Well, for starters, I don't really hate anybody that I don't personally know. I mean, I've talked to Leafy before, and I can tell you firsthand that despite his persona that he kind of puts on for his videos, he's actually a super nice dude. As for people I've never spoken to before, like, you know, PewDiePie for example, I don't have any ill will towards anyone. Just because I might not personally watch or even really enjoy someone's content doesn't mean that I don't like them. As long as other people are watching and enjoying their content, then, I mean, more power to them, I say. The same thing applies to the viewers, too. I mean, I don't know them, and they are completely free to watch whatever they want. A lot of you guys sent me tweets asking about anime. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I occasionally make videos on and reference anime, so a lot of you wanted to know what some of my favorite series are. Now, I don't really like having any absolute favorites, but here are some of my top picks in no particular order. Watamote and One Punch Man, both of which I did videos of, Samurai Champloo, No Game No Life, Gurren Lagann, uh, Konosuba, that's a good one, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Hunter x Hunter, Seven Deadly Sins, uh, what else? Your Lion April, Madoka Magica, Overlord. What, what else? I don't know. The, the list could really go on a lot farther, but I'll, I'll just cut it off there. Those are all some good series, so if you haven't seen those, um, I, I highly recommend you go see them. Now, if I really, really had to pick one above the rest, like if someone put a gun to my head and said, what is your favorite anime? I would probably have to say Gurren Lagann, because that shit is good. What made you start YouTube? If you could collab with anyone, who would you collab with? Honestly, I'm not even sure how to answer the first part of that question. I'm still trying to figure that out for myself. I mean, I've been watching YouTube videos since like 2006, and I guess I always, you know, felt a little bit envious of the content creators on there. So it only makes sense that I would eventually give it a shot myself. I'll be the first person to tell you that I'm a huge egomaniac. I absolutely love getting praise for things that I put a lot of time and effort into creating. So when I started making YouTube YouTube videos and people were telling me that I was pretty good, that just drove me to create more and more, and here we are today. As for who I would collab with if given the chance, I would probably have to say Donkey, honestly. I've been watching him since he only had like 20,000 subscribers, and I think this definitely shows he's been a massive influence on my, you know, comedic styling, so getting to meet him and work with him would be pretty amazing. So if any of you guys got connections to him, just, uh, you know, uh, tell him to hit me up. Are you a meme bob or a meme snob? Uh, now if you have absolutely no fucking idea what this question is asking, there exist two types of people in this world. There are meme bobs who spout off any relevant memes without a care in the world, and meme snobs who recognize what makes a meme a truly dank meme. Here's the thing, a meme is only ruined when a bunch of bob fags get a hold of a meme and begin to just spread it everywhere, similarly to a tumor. They are the reason that good memes die, so I am most certainly a meme snob. Why why did you decide to call yourself Ouija the God? Now this is a question that I get asked all the time. A lot of people think that I name myself after Luigi, or more specifically, Le Epic Luigi Meme, but this is not the case at all. My name is in no way related to Luigi from Super Mario Brothers or any mid to late 2000s memes. I would just like to make that crystal clear right here, right now. Flashback to 2007, Little Cade, 
My actual name is Cade, by the way. I don't think I've like ever mentioned that before. Uh, but anyway, little Cade gets a PS3 for Christmas and is faced with the task of picking a PlayStation Network name. Now, I don't know why I picked Ouija, but I, I just thought it sounded cool, I guess. It just popped in my head. So I tried that and unsurprisingly, it was already taken. Uh, I then made it in all caps, which I thought wouldn't be taken for whatever reason because I was a dumbass, but obviously it was taken. Then, since I was, and really still am, an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch, I added THE GOD after Ouija, and it worked. And from that day forward, it just kinda stuck with me forever. I later went on to discover the Ouija meme, which I wasn't really happy about, uh, but I was already in way too deep for me to go back and, you know, make a new name for myself, so... It just kind of stuck with me. If you had to add any video game character to Smash 4, what would it be? This includes Microsoft and Sony characters as well. I'm pretty sure I already said this in my How to Corrin video, but hands down easily, Shovel Knight. I fucking love Shovel Knight, and he would have made a perfect addition to the Smash roster. I mean, he's already got a good move set for it, for Christ's sake. He would have been perfect, but nope, I guess Sakurai felt like screwing us all over. Yet again, what do you think of speedrunning? Also, what do you think about Narcissa Cosmo Wright? Uh, that's an oddly specific question, but I, I think speedrunning's really neat. Uh, I, I really enjoy watching it. There are some speedrun games that I think are kind of dumb, like Final Fantasy, for example, which takes like eight fucking hours to complete anyway, so it's like, what's even the point? But still, I, I do like watching speedruns, yeah. What do I think about Wright? Um, Okay, so like, if, if you guys don't know, there's a streamer who used to do a bunch of Legend of Zelda speedruns, he did other games too, but mainly Legend of Zelda, called Cosmo Wright, but recently he's quit speedrunning and has been transitioning from male to female. Uh, Wright is transgender, now going by the name Narcissa Wright. Now before I say anything more, I would just like to say, there is absolutely nothing wrong with being transgender. In fact, I actually used to have a pretty close friend who is transgender. But with that being said though, Wright is pretty fucked in the head. Again, not because Wright is trans, but because Wright has made video after video showcasing just complete mental breakdowns and it's really just weird and sad to watch. So, yeah, that's what I think about Wright. Who are your favorite characters in Overwatch? If you played the beta, if not, who do you think will be your favorites? Um, well, I did indeed play a bunch of Overwatch. I played some during the closed beta and a ton during the open beta, which was earlier in May. It is a fantastically fun game, and I cannot wait to start making videos on it when it comes out on the 24th. Uh, before anyone asks, yes, I am doing how-to Overwatch. That will be a thing on my channel. Anyway, to answer the question, I would have to say that my favorite character so far that I've played um, would probably be Tracer. She's got great mobility, she does tons of damage, and she is a top tier waifu. A lot of you guys sent me questions asking about Let's Plays. As most of you no doubt know, I used to make a bunch of them back in the day. Uh, I kind of just recently stopped, actually, like two or three months ago. I've kind of strayed away from that path. And I guess I really haven't ever sat down and explained why. The main reason is hardly anyone was watching, and you know, hardly anyone really cared that much. You know, I, I know full well that the vast majority of my subscribers are only exclusively here because of my Smash 4 videos, and they're only staying because of my Smash 4 videos. I mean, the numbers don't lie. People wanted more Smash content and less Let's Plays, which is perfectly fine. I mean, it's totally understandable. I do still continue to make non-Smash videos that are still, you know, basically the same thing as my how-to series, but with, you know, just different games and whatever. Um, as well as my Ouija Talk series, which isn't dead, by the way. I'm working on it. Don't worry. Um, but again, the numbers just made it clear that most of the people on my channel were just simply not interested in Let's Plays, and it was becoming really time inefficient, especially to try to try and juggle those and the scripted stuff too. So I just kind of had to abandon one, and you know, obviously it was the Let's Plays. So if you did like my Let's Plays, I am sorry to say uh, they are not coming back anytime soon. Now what you can do if you like watching me play video games, you can head on over to my Twitch and watch me play them live. Link is in the description. As always, please follow me. Why is DDD your main in Smash? 
Um, I just like how he plays, honestly. I really wish there was a more elaborate answer to that, but I, I just enjoy his playstyle. I played him a bunch in Brawl, I played him a bunch in PM, so I play him a bunch in 4. I like that he's really heavy and manages to take a lot of abuse. I like that he has more than two jumps. I like that he has really good spacing options. I like how he's really good at punishing. And most importantly, he is the master of the suck and cuck. How do you make your voice sound so awesome? Uh, I wish I had a better answer for this one too, but just genetics, really. It's, I mean, it's basically just genetics and a nice audio setup, you know, definitely doesn't hurt. It's nice that I do have a good voice, though. God knows it is my single redeeming quality. What direction do you plan on taking your channel in the future? Do you think you will ever stop uploading Smash Bros content? Truthfully, I have no fucking idea, man. I mean, I only like just recently in hindsight started making the Smash videos in like December of 2015, which is only like six-ish months ago, and that has just completely altered everything about my channel. Um, I'm, I'm really not sure if I'm ever going to see another renaissance like that. Right now, the plan is to just keep on making Smash content for as long as the majority of you people want to watch it, as well as continuing my, you know, scripted non-Smash videos, Ouija talks, how to Overwatch when that comes out in like two days, and basically anything else I can think of in the future that you guys would want to see. Does your throat get sore after recording yourself yelling about sucking and cucking? Yes. God, yes. You know, there's there's a lot of shouting that goes into my videos, and yes, it, it definitely puts a lot of strain on my vocal cords. Like, to use a recent example in How to Kirby, uh, the segment where I was yelling with the copy abilities, I probably recorded each one of those clips audio like three or four different times before getting one that I liked. Um, and there were like seven different clips in that segment, so by the end of that, you know, recording session, my voice was pretty fucked for the rest of the day. I actually had to come back the next day and finish up recording uh, the rest of the video because my voice was just like completely shot after all of that yelling. What games do you enjoy other than the ones you've played on your channel? Smash 4, XCOM, etc. Uh, well, a lot of the games on my channel that I did Let's Plays for are some of my favorite games ever. You know, like Dark Souls, Spyro, Lord of the Rings of the Third Age, etc. Um, but in terms of games that I've literally never just put on my channel before and still love, uh, just to name a few, Civ V, Grand Theft Auto V, the Mass Effect trilogy, uh, Mario Parties 1 through 7 especially, easily my favorite games to play with three other people, uh, Fallouts 3 and New Vegas, which are basically the same game. I don't know, the, the list could really go on, those are just some off the top of my head really, and honestly, I'm probably leaving a bunch out. Leiwiji Question Guy, great name, asks, made a Twitter just to ask this, has YouTube ever affected your personal relationships with people you know? E yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know, people get hella jealous over relative success, let's, let's just leave it at that. How long does it take to make a how-to and do you have a girlfriend, you loney fuck? Well, for the first part of your question, it kind of depends on how long a how-to can take. Uh, I remember I made How-To King DDD in literally less than a day, but writing somewhat new and fresh jokes for every episode is kind of becoming a bit tougher as time goes on. You know, the more I make, the harder it is to become, you know, original, if that makes any sense. As for the second part of your question, though, no, I do not currently have a girlfriend. Uh, not because I'm some filthy perma-virgin who can't get a girlfriend. I mean, come on now, anyone can walk up to some land whale and get a girlfriend in like a day if they really wanted to. But because there just, there just aren't any girls around me, or that I really know of in general to be honest, that A, share a lot of similarities with me, and B, I am just generally romantically interested in. Is the self-deprecation ironic? I honestly can't tell anymore. Well, that's all the time we have for today, I think. Um, a big thank you to everybody who sent in a question, although I couldn't get to all of them because it would take, like, legit an hour. Uh, I hope the ones that I did choose were to everyone's liking. Maybe I'll do more Q&As in the future if you guys want me to. Chances are you probably won't that much, but hey, let me know in the comments down below anyway. Uh, so yeah, thank you all for watching. I had a lot of fun doing this. This is Ouija the God, and I will see you all next time.